One of the things that's come up in Strasbourg this week is the idea of a European army. It's something that's been floated before by previous Commission presidents and it's something that we've seen come up again under President Juncker who says that in the long run the, the EU is going to need its own army. So that raised the, the spectre of British soldiers having to fight and die under an EU flag. And it was quite instructive that in the Parliament chamber earlier this week that Geoffrey Van Orden, the Conservative MEP, stood up and he spoke about a report on uh, the EU having more involvement in peacekeeping. And of course the, the big move towards a European army is what's called a common security and defence policy. Now, Geoffrey Van Orden made it quite clear that he didn't support the common security and defence policy. He was the person who wrote the report, but it had been amended and amended back in committee to bring those references to the security and defence policy back into it. So even a British Conservative MEP, not a particularly Eurosceptic one, I have to say, but even a British Conservative MEP writing a report on something like this, trying to keep clear blue water between him and the European Commission simply finds that his report is amended to put all that back in. Surely nobody can be in any doubt that they are moving towards a European army.